Hey everybody, I'm Argo Fump. I wanted to show this off. I got a special birthday present. This is a signed picture, uh, signed by Lonnie Manella. She did the voice of Nancy Drew from games one through 32, and it's just so cool. So this was a, an awesome birthday present. Uh, you know, paid a little extra to get the fancy holder for it so I can just sit it down on my desk. It's cool. So, to Michael Argelfump Gray, what does it say? You're the best solver of mysteries ever, XOX. Lonnie Manella, Nancy Drew. So Lonnie was doing uh, a charity thing. So she, she was signing autographs for charity. So I I forget how much this costs, like $35? It costs extra to get the uh, fancy stand, of course. So um, she does more than just Nancy Drew. She She's been in a lot of video games, like... She does Lucas and Super Smash Brothers, uh, you know, Bowser's Kids and the Super Mario games. Someone in Bioshock. I think she's in The Last of Us, which is really popular right now. So she had a lot of her different characters available for her to sign. And, uh, well, I'm sorry to say the charity auction is over. I don't think she's doing uh, signed uh, photographs anymore. But it's, it's really cool that I managed to get in on the uh, the signed auction uh, before it closed. So that's awesome. And I wanted to uh, show that off here in this video. I also wanted to show off this. I, I got this for uh, Christmas. Now this is a signed picture of uh, Adam Sandler in the, uh, the movie Happy Gilmore. So here's him with Bob Barker <laughs> fighting each other. Bob Barker is from The Price is Right. And then Adam Sandler goes, looks like The Price is Wrong. Uh, when they fight in that movie and it's, it's so that that was a that was a christmas present this was a birthday present to myself um so yeah just just thought i'd make a video showing off this this cool signed nancy drew thing ah it's cool and yes i i love how this is the nancy drew picture because um i did ask people if they had questions for me so one of the questions was from vivian t asking how's the family so um, I have this this game called uh, There's Been a Murder, and I'm going to try to get my family to play this game. But this is totally that same Nancy Drew picture, right? This and that, totally the exact same picture, right? Right? Now, this has nothing to do with Nancy Drew, but um, I, I guess she solves a murder mystery sometimes. So I'm going to try to convince my family to play this game with me. Now, we recently played the, the Nancy Drew, what was it? Nancy Drew Mysteries board game, which, which was like Clue. You can watch that video. And there's another new Nancy Drew game. Uh, I was going to buy that for my birthday, but it was too expensive. So I'm waiting for the price to come down. It's the Nancy Drew Collector's board game, I think is the name of it. So once, once the price goes down, I'm going to buy that, and then I'm going to play it with my family. So you guys have two board game videos to uh, look forward to with my family. Um, got a question from Jenny Taylor. Do I plan to speed run The Silent Spy? I'm not doing any speed runs at the moment. Uh, I haven't done speed runs in years, right? I, I feel like I stopped doing speed runs um, well, when my daughter was born and I became a full-time stay-at-home parent because speed run takes a lot of time. And I'm not very good at it. I'm kind of slow. Now, my New Year's resolution is to finish doing reviews for all the various Nancy Drew games. So that's my New Year's resolution. That's going to be my big project for the year. I did Secrets Can Kill Remastered. And I think I did Trail of the Twister last month. Yeah, I, I did both of those. So like two per month, I should be finished by the end of the year. That's like one of those projects which... I started like six or seven years ago, and I, I, I'm really sorry I haven't finished it. So that's going to be my big Nancy Drew project, is uploading uh, reviews for all the various Nancy Drew games. So, um, Martian Sasha 7 asks, regarding your original Nancy Drew walkthroughs, do you have a favorite one? And that's really hard to say. Because I did my original walkthroughs in 2007, 8, and 9. So that's like 15 years ago, right? I'm trying to do the math in my head. I uh, can't quite do that. Um, 
Yeah, so my favorites, uh, I like Nancy Drew, The Haunted Carousel. That was one I was really excited to play. Uh, Nancy Drew, oh, the one in Japan, Shadow at the Water's Edge, that was a really good one. Uh, people really enjoyed that. So that's like the day my channel got the most views ever was that one. And I also, I really liked Phantom of Venice too. I, I think... Because that was the first one I, I bought when it was new, and so that was really exciting too. So I really like doing that particular walkthrough. Okay, and then Emily Renee says, are there plans for the next Mega Marathon? I don't think so. I, I'm not sure if I'll do a, a Mega Marathon this year. To be honest, I kind of forget everything that happened in my Mega Marathon last year. So... If you don't know the story, uh, about 11 months ago, I was in a car accident and I was seriously thinking about just ending my Nancy Drew channel here. So I, I just was going to play through all the games and I, I did a review for all the games, right? I did like a quick five minute review for every single game. And I was just, I just stopped YouTube cold for like three months after that. It, it was a really rough recovery, actually, because it did take like six to nine months before I could do this, like move my head all the way to the left and right. And even even driving, I still get pretty nervous sometimes. Uh, I'm better, but uh, it feels like I, I my memory is not as good as it used to be. Like you saw just earlier now, I forgot the name of Shadow at the Water's Edge. Or, you know, earlier this week, I was playing uh, the Freddy Fish game. So I, I did a little mini marathon with my daughter, Rosie. And I couldn't remember the word seashell. And nobody seemed to pick up on that. But, you know, it feels to me like, wow, my memory's bad. And so it feels like for the past year, I, I you know, I did take those like three months off of YouTube after doing uh, the, the Mega Marathon. And um, it felt like for the rest of the year, like the last four months of the year, I was just scrambling to do anything, to get any work done. Um... Anyway, um, so I, I can't remember anything from uh, last year's Mega Marathon, to be honest. So if you if you want, you could check out the uh, last year's Mega Marathon, check out the, the mini marathon I did with Rosie. Uh, I know Mary wants to... I don't know if Mary actually wants to play more Nancy Drew games or not. She just likes saying she loves the game number 15, Creature of Kapu Cave, and I think she is only saying that to annoy me. I'm not quite sure, but um, I don't know, maybe next year. I wish they were still making Nancy Drew games and so I could have a big reason to replay the Nancy Drew games because it used to be, it's like, oh wow, there's a new game coming out. Let me play all the old ones, yeah. But uh, alas, that's not been the case for a long, long time. So um, Emily Renee also asked, are there any new games coming to the channel? And I've got this huge list of games. So that's why I was able to take like three months off of YouTube was because I just have a huge backlog. Even now I've got like 20 different walkthroughs that I've recorded that haven't posted to my channel. So uh, Super Mario Odyssey, uh, Detective Pikachu for the 3DS, Ring Fit Adventure, New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe, just a bunch of Switch games, all these games I got for the Switch, uh, Super Luigi Galaxy, Pokemon Shield News Lock, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario 64, Super Mario 3D World, then uh, League of Light, Edge of Justice, Alicia Quartermain and the Stone of Fate, Silent Footsteps, Lamplighter, Never Tales 3, Never Tales 4, Never Tales 5, Never Tales 6, Great Ace Attorney 2. So that one's like a hundred videos long. So if I really wanted to, I would post just like one video a day and that would be three months of like new content without me having to do anything, right? So I could take a like three months off of YouTube and that, that's how I was able to take three months off after the, uh, the, the car accident. Now I'm not gonna do that because I think people would be really angry with me if I... <laughs> posted nothing but Great Ace Attorney for three months straight. So that's why I usually will only post like a week of a, of a, sh of a show, of a, of a game. 
So, like, for example, um, you know, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer, I split that up into three different weeks, as opposed to having three straight weeks of that game. And Call of the Sea, I split that up into two different weeks. Uh, Call of the Sea is next on the channel. I forget if I finished Ocarina of Time Randomizer, but if not, it should be finished soon. And then a bunch of Barbie games I played with Rosie. So that was actually going to be my idea was to do um, Barbie live streams, but I don't think we've played enough Barbie games to, to make it work. I don't know. So um, Barbies as Princess Bride, uh, Barbie as the Princess and the Popper for the Game Boy Advance, uh, Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus for the Game Boy Advance. That's another problem with the, the Barbie games. Uh, the music, uh, copyright issues, especially uh, Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus. Tons of copyright issues just kept hitting me, hitting me, hitting me. So like, no way am I gonna live stream that game. Uh, Barbie as the Island Princess for the PC. Barbie, Barbie as the Island Princess for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, next, we should probably record Barbie as the Island Princess for the Nintendo DS. I, I just said, you know, I played the first five uh, Freddy Fish games uh, last last week. I should probably do, like, full walkthroughs for those, right? Showing off all the different pathways while it's still fresh in my mind. So that's something I, I should do, too, in the near future. But as I said, my my goal is to finish the Nancy Drew book, not book reviews, game reviews. So I'm going to try to focus on those. Um, then, like, two things... Uh, two walkthroughs I was kind of struggling to catch up with and to do was um, Toem, uh, a video game. Uh, no, Toem, see, I'm telling you, my memory's terrible. It still feels like my memory's bad. Um, the Fantastic Kitty Roo by Ink Rose Heart. Um, she, she, she's uh, one of my, you know, people who've been watching this channel forever, and she made her own video game. And so I said, sure, I'll play your game, and I'm going to post that walkthrough sometime. And then um, Toem, a photo adventure, is a game that was recommended to me by one of my supporters on Patreon. So you, you could go to patreon.com and, and support me there. It's patreon.com slash arglefuff. I've got links to a bunch of different walkthroughs. So I've got early access links for a lot of those walkthroughs I just mentioned. And I should not have thrown away my iPad because I had one more question to answer before the end of the video. So... Dominic asks, where do you think the future of Her Interactive is headed? Do you think they are actually making anything new? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really don't. I feel like the pandemic was probably bad for Her Interactive. It is good that more people went back to the Nancy Drew games and, and played these old games because everybody was stuck inside. But... Uh, Bad for game development. Uh, I'm told they they don't have like a physical headquarters anymore. They switched from like having a physical office space to uh, a PO box, which makes sense because nobody was allowed to go into the office due to the pandemic. I think the pandemic is winding down. I can't wait to shave off my Corona beard because it's that's what this beard is for. Makes me look scruffy, doesn't it? I. I wanted to look fancy and stylish like Prince Harry, but instead I look like, um, I don't know, one of those those crazy guys with a beard from Nancy Drew, uh, Gray from uh, The Deadly Device. Why not? Okay, so those are all the questions that I got. Those, those are the five questions people got. And again, just wanted to show off this fancy sign Nancy Drew, Nancy Drew picture I got. Okay, so... Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye.